Life comes at you fast. And being proficient allows you to adjust for anything that comes your way. Kihon. Do a thousand repetitions of the technique every time you practice, when you practice, and over time, you will be more than proficient. Look over to your left and you see me. During this next thousand cuts, he will demonstrate the correct stances, timing, transitions, cuts, setups, grip, and everything that is encompassed with that. If for some reason you don't understand something, make it easy on your stuff. Stop, pause the tape, and repeat. That way, you can easily follow along. And if you have any problems, all you have to do is review a few times and then you'll start going, ah, I see how this technique works now. <laughs> Fundamental key is, practice until your muscle memory sets in and you will develop a much stronger core and foundation. Go ahead at this time and press the pause button and go around trying to find something that represents a sword. If you don't have a sword in hand and still want to work out now instead of later, just grab something out of your pantry, like a broom. After you've found your broom or mop, cut off about 40 inches. This 1,000 strike series is made for everyone. It's made for the beginner. Just watch over here on this side as we go through the basic kihon. We're going to work with you on how to hold a sword, how to stand with a sword. We're going to work with you on how to cut with a sword and work on all those basics that will allow you to get over to the other side and start practicing all the technique much faster. And review with me on this side. And when you finish some of your review, go over there to the other side and start executing those techniques. And for all of you who have practiced this sword for years, thank you very much for stopping on by. Just follow along with the patterns and enjoy, since you know how important the basics are. And think about it. If you practice an extra 5, 10, or 15,000 strikes with the sword using the different patterns and techniques, well, imagine what kind of badass you could be with a broomstick. And that's why this self-defense video is made for everyone. You will first begin by learning Hoppo Giddy Basics. 
these basics mm. consist of mm. one, mm. gripping and handling the sword, mm. two, mm. stances, mm. three, mm. cutting patterns, mm. four, mm. katas. Mm. Let's go back to number one. Gripping the sword's handle is an essential part of correctly moving the sword. Which means, you don't want to drop it. You want to grasp the handle and wield it in a strong, practical manner that will not telegraph your thoughts and intentions. Here, let me show you. With sword drawn, bring your hand, your right hand, and come into the top of the handle at about a 45 degree angle, grasping not with your hands, but with the tips of your fingers here is another view. Gripping a sword and gripping a hammer are almost identical. The second basic concept is your stance. A stance is just a simple transfer of weight, positioning, and movement, which carries the sword into and out of the target area. Correct placement of your feet, and the positioning of your legs, hips, shoulders, and arms are key factors that allow you to set up for your next technique. Hip, yaw, hip, yaw. Gaydon. Left Jodon. Right Jodon. Right Hasso. Left Hasso. Right Walking Okamai. Left walking no come I. Number three are the basic cuts of Hapogiri. The purpose of a sword is to cut through mass. And there are many ways to cut, mind you. But you need to choose the correct patterns to be consistent and simple, yet effective and practical. Here are your eight basic cutting patterns. Hmm. 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 
And the fourth basic concept is kata. Kata teaches everything from the basic footprint to all the subtleties of the sword. Every turn and movement has a set technique or pattern. Forms are a very important factor in your learning process. Let's take what we've learned so far. Put it all together and see what interesting patterns we can practice. Let's begin in a hostile position and execute a short, medium, and long range cut. When we execute these three cuts, we're also going to key eye. Eight, yop, four. 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 Just follow along and slowly your muscle memory will be setting in. From there you'll start looking at the techniques and go, I'm starting to understand this. Ah, I see how this works now. Within this tape, you'll see that I have different key eyes. At the very beginning, when I'm not exerting that much energy, my key eyes are low and guttural. Later, when I start becoming a little bit more fatigued, you'll notice that my key eyes are also changing. When practicing your thousand strokes, I want you to note that you probably are going to fatigue. The muscles in your back and your neck are going to start to hurt. And you might feel the next day like it's a little painful. All you need to do are a few stretches to alleviate that problem. Here are a couple I'd like to demonstrate for you. When practicing this first stretch, it'd be easier to sit down. What we're going to do is, we're going to stretch the muscles between our shoulder blades and our neck. You take your hands, your arms, and you cross them, and then you grab onto one of your feet. After you've grabbed on and grasped your heel with your leg, I want you to push out and forward. With this, you'll start feeling stretching between your finger blades and your neck. This will alleviate a lot of tension. Another stretch is to clasp your fingers and put them behind your head. And pull down your neck and your head so you can stretch your neck and your back. And those two stretches will help your back Stay limber and allow you to go on to the next thousand strikes without putting you into a challenging hurt fest. There are many angles to cut from when you use the sword. Let's keep this simple and work with the basic eight. 
The first yeah. one is yeah. a cut yeah. vertical from 12 yeah. o'clock to 6 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. The second cut is yeah. a top yeah. right to a bottom left yeah. cut from yeah. my 1 o'clock to 7 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. 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 Next cut is Two. one that is called a Two. yaku or reverse, Two. where I'm cutting from Two. 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock and coming back up. Two. 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 Another cut is cutting Two. from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And that one's reversed, <laughs> coming from 5 o'clock yep. back up to 11 o'clock. There yep. are also yep. horizontal Two. cuts that cut yep. from yep. 9, 9 to 3 Two. or back yep. 3 to 9. Yep. Two. There are yep. also yep. stabs Two. or thrusts. Yep. Yep. Two. When you put all these together, yep. There yep. are eight basic Two. cuts that you can yep. work with yep. that keeps Two. it simple. Yep. What I'd like you yep. to do is Two. follow over on yep. the other side yep. and start Two. working with those cuts. Yep. But it yep. is very important Two. to note, after yep. every yep. cut, Two. hold it there for an extra yep. beat or two yep. to denote Two. the end of the cut. Yep. A lot of times yep. when Two. people start swinging yep. the sword too yep. fast, Two. the cuts become all yep. blurry and you don't know where yep. one cut ends yep. and one cut yep. begins. So yep. make sure instead yep. of trying to go yep. for a lot, go yep. for the quality of yep. the cut yep. and make sure they're yep. all done at 100%. Yep. Nen. Go tape. Nen. Go tape. Nen. Go tape. Men. When practicing your Men. thousand cuts Cote. over on the other Men. side, Cote. after you Men. put in a fair Cote. amount of the repetition, Do. your mind will start to wander. Men. That's Cote. all viable and great. Do. The difficult part is Men. your technique Cote. becomes sloppy. Do. Sloppy technique Men. can't get to the target Men. in time. Men. What I'd like Men. you to understand Men. is Men. you need to use Men. focal Men. points. And Staying consistent and with these focal points and allow your sword to cut and straighter and, and more true. And 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 During this lesson uh, plan, if you uh, don't do a hundred strikes uh, a day, uh, don't worry about yep, it. You might have to build uh, up. Start yep, off with a hundred, oh, two hundred, go to five hundred, uh, then go to a thousand. Yep, After you've oh, finished a thousand, then we'll start working out where we start hitting 2,000 or 3,000. Yep. Remember, most cuts and strikes yep. usually yep. take about 20 Toe. minutes or so to complete 1,000. Yep. So use that yep. as your guideline. Yep. Yep. A key eye yep. is very important. Yep. A key eye keeps Toe. you from fatiguing. Yep. If you put yep. in the key eye correctly, Toe. You'll be Hip. able to go to two Hip. to three thousand Hip. cuts. Hop. Within this Hip. tape, you'll see that Hop. I have different key Hip. eyes. At the Hip. very beginning, when Hip. I'm not exerting that Hip. much energy, Hip. my key eyes Hip. are low and guttural. Hip. Later, Hip. when I start becoming Hip. a little bit more fatigued, Hip. you'll notice Hip. that my key eyes Hip. are also changing. Hip. 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 Yup. Congratulations. Hip. Hip. You have Hip. just finished your thousand yeah. strokes for the day. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to yeah. contact me at learnthesword.com. Yeah. Hip. Yeah. Hip. Yeah.